This is an example of how to work with catalogs and plots in the URSA tool Find Your Chart. I'm roughly following the example given in the online help in example plot one. So here I'm going to put in IC1396. Either net or simbat is fine to resolve it. Instead of that, I'm going to put in a degree. I'm going to turn off Sloan because I know there's no data there. I know the two mass tiles are really small. I know the Akari pixels are really big. I'm going to turn off searching on the corresponding catalogs for now. Search. So that's all the images that it found. Now let's go add some catalogs. Go to catalogs. I want to search on a wise catalog. The all wise source catalog is fine. Now it remembers my source, but what I actually want to do is do a polygon search over the whole image search comes back with a huge catalog 22,000 sources the catalog is so big that the browser doesn't even render each point separately in the plot and the fact that it's plotting the the points not individually but in bins grayscale bins is a dead giveaway that it is also not plotting each individual point on the image so that even if you are to zoom in on the plot not every source that it pulled from the catalog is shown on the plot. That is an important thing to remember. Okay, so let's start playing with this catalog. In the catalog here, let's add some filters. For the things that are upper limits, the errors are null. So let's start filtering down so that we only have detections by asking it to only give us the points where the errors are greater than zero. So let's add filters here so that all of these are greater than zero. You can see some of the ones that are nulls there. Let's get it so it's only detections. Now we're down to 4,000 points. So that's few enough that the individual points are shown in the plot. And now we know that all of the points are shown on the images here. Let's change what's plotted. Let's click on the gears. For the x-axis, let's do W1M Pro minus W4M Pro. So that's Y's 1 minus Y's 4. Then for the y-axis, you W1M Pro. Let's add some sensible labels. W1 minus W4. And then for the y-axis, W1. And reverse it so the bright objects are at the top. Apply. So now we have a color magnitude diagram. Once that's selected, we can click and drag in here, and then we can impose filters from here as well. These are just the brightest, reddest objects. So if I click here, this object is that object in the catalog here, but it is also highlighted in the image. So let's see if we can find it in the image. If we zoom in, let's see if we can make sure that we center on this particular object here and let's put center on this object go so it's this object here is that bright red object and this object here 